The Mad Woman of Shai Yu is definitely a film of two halves. This was released originally in 1969. It's directed by Brian Forbes with a screenplay by Edward Anhalt and it's based on the play by Jean Girardeau. I apologise if I've mispronounced that. And this stars Catherine Hepburn as our titular character, Countess Aurelia, the Mad Woman of Shayu. And I only watched this because I love Hepburn, so there's definitely potential bias in there. And that's part of the reason why the film only became interesting to me once she was in it a lot. She's in it a little bit during the first half, but the second half is when it's basically all about her character. And... I feel like things became a lot more interesting in the second half. It's very long. It's about two hours. And the first half is so tedious. And personally, not something I enjoy. The first half is basically setting things up. Because the film is actually about this so-called mad woman, the Countess. And she believes in goodness in the world. And there are various times in the film where she sees somebody in a, a bad situation and she does something to try and rectify it to make it a, a more positive situation and then she finds out that some rather evil greedy characters are trying to dig up oil under the streets of Paris and she sets about trying to put that right and I won't say exactly what she does but I will say that I didn't expect this to end up being a comedy but I rather enjoyed the direction it took with the second half of the film but as a character, the Countess doesn't come into it properly until about an hour into it. We have an entire hour of setting things up. And that's ludicrous. It just takes so long to actually get to the point that I don't understand what they were thinking. As I said, this is based on the play. I don't know exactly word for word what it's like. But if that's what the play is like and the actual story doesn't start until... I guess, after the intermission, that's terrible. So I really found the first half to be so dull, not just because the Countess isn't in that much of it to begin with, but also because nothing happens. We could have condensed the first half into maybe 20 minutes and not lost anything and still got the point. So it's a little bit unfortunate that the narrative takes an hour to get going, but once it gets going... It's delightful. It was enjoyable from roughly the first time. I'd say when the Countess meets the character of Roderick, played by Richard Chamberlain. I really liked him as a character. Um, from that point on, things became more interesting. But from the tea party scene, and you'll know which scene this is, after that point, I thought it was a good film. I started to think, yes, this is an interesting narrative. So if you've ever tried watching it and you've given up, Stick with it, because it does get better, but it takes about an hour. What I do want to say is that the performances are really good, even during that first hour when the narrative is so dire. The performances are not too bad. We have a great cast, including Yul Brynner, and I also want to praise the costumes, in particular the Countess's costumes. Costume design is by Rosie and Delamere, and the Countess just looks Amazing. I mean, Catherine Hepper looks absolutely stunning in anything, but the costumes here, what she wears, it's just so beautiful and the colours are gorgeous and there's such great attention to detail. And yes, one could say it's quite an eccentric way of dressing and it definitely helps to give her more character and make her even more interesting. But the way she carries herself, the way she speaks, her outlook, I love the character. So yes, it makes sense to me that the film would become... I was going to say more interesting, but even just interesting in general, once she became the main focus. But I think even taking out that bias, the first the first half of the film is just tremendously dull. And everything that happened could have happened in a much shorter space of time. So I enjoyed the second half. It's worth watching for the second half, for the performances, for Catherine Hepburn. But I would not like to sit through this film again. Once was enough in its entirety. It wouldn't surprise me if I watched some of Hepburn's scenes again in the future because I loved her performance. And as I said, I loved where the narrative went in the second half and towards the end. That was all that worked very well for me. So I can't say it's a bad film, but there is 
tremendous room for improvement in terms of the pacing. If you know how it compares to the stage play, please feel free to let me know. I will not be saying this on stage unless there was somebody in it I was desperate to see because I am not sitting through that on stage. But if the stage play happens to have a much better pacing, I'd be very keen to know that as well. But for now, I'm pleased to have seen The Mad Woman of Shayu once. I will probably never watch it again in its entirety, but if there's something about it that appeals to you, I'd say it's worth persevering with because it does ultimately end up being a decent film.